In just 30 minutes, the public will get to weigh in on the future of Guilford County Schools and what the district should prioritize in its budget. WXI 12's Joshua Davis is in Greensboro right now to explain what's expected to be a big part of that discussion. Joshua. A teacher and classified pay were what board member Michael Logan and I discussed the most today, but it's a conversation that's been happening for months with, at plenty of these board meetings. He says he expects that to be the case again tonight. Our motto is better together, which means we need to work together. Logan represents District 3 and is a former educator himself of 26 years. He says he was happy to see GCS Superintendent Dr. Whitney Oakley ask to increase teacher pay, especially as districts across the state struggle with teacher shortages. Gone to 18.3% this year and we were at 10.6% last year. The entry level pay from when I first started teaching has more than doubled. The top pay has not. It's gone up about, I think, about twelve, thirteen thousand dollars. So the reality is, yes, we've increased the entry level, but eventually you really have nowhere to go. Another issue the district is facing is federal COVID funds running out by September of this year. Funds GCS has used to invest in their staff, learning resources, and study programs for students. So you have to use what you have, get the best out of it, and then move on with what you what you are provided. Logan says GCS will have to get creative to figure out the way forward, but the district needs to hear from the public. Come to the school board meeting, uh, see what is going on, watch it, learn from it. And community involvement is public schools, so the public should be involved within the schools. The budget recommendation for the upcoming school year is roughly $960 million. However, a final budget resolution won't be approved until late June. In Greensboro, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.